We now have a story of a little girl in India who has faced the trials in her life with enormous spirit. As part of our partnership with National Geographic Channel, we have an exclusive look at this extraordinary tale. Before Jyoti Amge was even born, her parents already knew she was special. She was the fifth child born to Kajanji and Ranjana, and a complicated pregnancy meant she was no more than a tiny blip inside her mother. When they found that the baby was alive, it was a miracle. The doctors were in shock. Now at 15, Jyoti stands just 23 and a half inches tall and weighs only about 12 pounds. Such a tiny frame, she's believed to be the smallest girl in the world. But year after year, doctors have been unable to explain why Jyoti didn't grow. Dr. Charles Scott, a leading expert on dwarfism, suspects a problem with her skeleton. How would you describe her condition? Her head, trunk, and limbs, I don't think, are proportionate. And that's very uh, suggestive that there's an intrinsic skeletal disorder of growth. With such a small stature, Jyoti's prone to accidents and her tiny bones break easily. A recent fall fractured both her legs, leaving her unable to walk without the aid of a splint. We have to watch her very carefully. We can't let her go out anywhere on her own. Jyoti's legs did attempt to heal, but instead of forming bone, they formed what doctors call false joints that loosely connect the broken bones. You should only bend at your knee and your ankle. Hers bends in mid-shaft, and it's sort of like a piece of leather there. How are you? Dr. Ram Soni in Nagpur, India, believes he can repair Jyoti's legs, but it's not an easy choice for Jyoti's parents. The Amgays turn to their Hindu faith for help in making a decision. They attend a religious festival in Nagpur, where it becomes clear that some think of Jyoti as a tiny living goddess. This can only be seen in some divine form. Back at the hospital, Jyoti's parents decide to go through with x-rays, but get more nervous when Jyoti faces painful blood tests to try to find out why her bones haven't healed. She can't take that much pain. There is no guarantee that the operation will be successful. So we don't want to get the operation done. A few days later, the Amgays turn again to Faith, taking their daughter to a healer who says he can fix Jyoti's broken legs. Modern doctors may disagree, but the Amgays are certain they've made the right choice for their daughter. And the tiny teenager, so brave in coping with the challenges of her condition, seems ready to face whatever the future holds. Thank you.